Routing is a way of controlling exactly which questions each participant sees. It ensures that the survey is no longer than it needs to be, and that it is relevant to the answers that are given to SNAP questions. Routing is very powerful and very flexible, so I'm going to show you a couple of quick examples of what you can do. So, in this first example, at the moment, there is only one question. And if I say no to that question, routing causes a message to come up thanking me for my time. But that's as long as the survey would be. However, if I say yes, I will in turn start to see more questions appear. So here I have, which forms of transport do I use to get to work? I'm going to say I use a cycle, car and underground. And for each of those three forms of transport, routing has then caused an additional question to appear asking how frequently I travel. For each of those methods, I can answer that using the slider control, just here. There is only one last question, as to whether I would consider car sharing. If I say no, then I can submit, and the survey is over. But if I say yes, I'll get a further question through which I can leave my details to share with other drivers locally. Routing rules can also be based on the results of in-survey calculations, which I'm going to show you in my second example. In-survey calculations work behind the scenes as the survey has been completed, to re-categorize or to transform the answer data. The result of that calculation can inform routing. I have an example here whereby any groups in excess of 10 will be offered a discount on their next visit. So here I have a group size of 15. And there's the offer of the discount for next time. The in-survey calculation has added together the answer to these two questions determined that the total group size is 15. Question routing based on that total has caused this question to appear, and additionally, we also have text substitution, inserting the total number of visitors into the text of the question. So, three separate elements working together there to personalize the questionnaire. If I now go back and reduce the total group size to less than 10 again, the in-server calculation will work out that we have a total of less than 10. Then, based on that result, routing will skip past the offer of a discount to the next question. Next I have three quick examples of text substitution or piping to show you. The first takes a multiple choice question to which multiple responses are possible. Those responses are then inserted into the text area of the subsequent question. You can see Snap has formed a logical sentence with a comma and the word, and joins those answers together. The next example combines text substitution with answer masking to find out more about the supermarkets at which each participant likes to shop. So, I'm just going to start by selecting two, Aldi and Sainsbury's. I'm going to add one of my own here, which is not listed above. I can then choose others, which perhaps I haven't shopped at, but I may have heard of, and the next question combined the answers I've given along with the open answer I gave of Ocado. And you can see also that the format has been changed to sentence case to suit the context in which we see it. In the last example, I'm using text substitution with a database link, and that database link brings in information from my database into either hidden or visible questions. So here I have the information inserted into some open-ended questions for the respondent to correct if necessary. But I've also used text substitution to bring that personal information into the text of the questionnaire. We're greeting by name, and we also have the date of the repair visible in the text of the introduction. And then I'm also using text substitution on the second page in a more conventional way. If the respondent selects that they are very dissatisfied with the overall quality of work, a question will be routed to appear, and that will include the answer they gave. And again, the text of the answer is changed to the appropriate case, so it's more suitable for the context in which it's seen. Thank you for watching this short video.